Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see some example for latching and unlatching concepts using CX programmer. So for latching, let's see the example one. So when the start push button is pressed, pump one is on. If it turns off, I mean the push button is off, it, it should remains in the on condition. Okay, so there is one input and one output over here. If the push button is pressed, output has to on. If it is off, if push button is off, it is released means still it has to be in on condition. Okay, then when push button 2 is pressed, the pump 2 should on and remains on even push button 2 is released. Okay, the third one is, I mean this is, this is the single problem. So, when start push button 3 is pressed, pump 3 is on until third, until it get released, until it not released. See, there is a difference between uh, the first two statement and this one. The third push button is pressed, pump 3 is on until it get released, until it not released. The next one is, when stop push button is pressed, Pump 1 should off. So, we have turned on the pump 1 in the first, uh, you know, first statement. No, that have to be off when PB4 is pressed. Then PB5 is pressed. Pump 2 is off. Okay. So, let's try to solve this problem. So, first, let's take first, whenever you are uh, having, uh, you know, uh, logic like this, you have to write down what all the inputs and outputs you are having actually. So, let's take account PB1, PB2, PB3, 4 and 5. So, we have a 5 inputs here and all 5 are push buttons. Fine. And uh, we have pump 1, 2, 3, 4, not 4, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3 outputs. So, totally our IO list is 8. 5 inputs and 3 outputs. Got it? So, let's move on to our CX programmer and try to solve the problem. So, in the example, they have given the addresses 0 0.01, 00, 01, 02 and this is 1.00, 1 1.01. So, we will we'll, uh, write the same address, fine. 0 0.00, 01, 00 and they have given the name as PB1, PB1, got it? So, first input is done. I am just adding the second input 0 0.01 and the address is PB2. Okay, fine. And the third one 0 0.02 PB3. Got it. And the fourth one is 1.00 and the, and the name is PB4. So, I will just put here, later we will uh, see where to add that and the name is PV5. So, 5 inputs are added, correct. So, now we have to add outputs. So, let us take motor 1 and uh, what address they have given? 5.00, okay. So, 5.00 is pump 1, not motor, pump 1. So, pump 1 and I am putting one more coil which is for pump 2. Okay. Now, I am putting the third one which is 5.02 and that is pump 3. Fine. Right. So, now we have 5 inputs and 3 outputs. So, what is our first statement? Whenever push button 1 is pressed, pump 1 have to on. So, what we have to do? It is pressed, it should on. So, it will be the normally open contact. So, I am connecting directly like this. Got it? I am connecting directly like this. And now what they have added? 
and remains on even if push button is released. So what I will do, I will put one parallel normally open contact here and the address should be same as pump. This is called as latching. We have seen already. So latching is done. First is done. And what they have given next when PB2 is pressed, pump 2 should on and it should remain on even though if it is released. So it's same like the previous one. No. So add the horizontal line to make a connection and add one parallel contact to the PB2 and give the same address as pump 2. Got it? Done. What they have given us third, when PB3 is pressed, pump 3 is on until PB3 is not released. So, so let's read the statement one more time. It looks confusing, right? When PB3 is pressed, pump 3 is on until PB3 is not released. So, if you release the PB3, this fellow should be off. Correct? If you release this, this will be off. If you are not released, it will be in on condition. That means what? They don't want a latching. Correct? So, if you press, pump 3 will be on. If you release, it will be off. See, here what they have been on until PB3 is not released. So, if it is released, it will be off. Right. So, we have to read the statement properly to understand what they have. See, it is not similar to the previous one. So, previous one they were asking if PB2 is off, still output have to be on like that they have given. But here, they have given like this. See, PB3 is on. This will be on. If it is off, it will be off. So, there is no need of latching it. Got it? So, let's move on to the fourth one. When stop push button is pressed, pump 1 should off. The pump 1 is here and uh, my stop push button, this fellow is here. So, I want to turn off this pump 1 using this contact. So, what I have to do? I have to put it here, but that should be a normally closed contact. So, let's do one thing. Just press escape. Add this and name that as same PB4. So, it should be a normally closed contact. No, I hope you have remembered in the previous session I have explained about this emergency. Always emergency stop, always emergency stop or whatever stop push button, always it should be a normally closed contact. Got it? And the last one is when stop push button is PB5 is pressed, pump 2 is off. So, they are talking about pump 2 now. So, they are going to turn off pump 2 using this PB5. So, what I will do, I will add one normally closed contact here and name that as 1.01 .01, which is pump, sorry, push button 5. Done? That's it. That's it. This is latching, this is latching and this is unlatching. Very simple, no? So, let us save the file and go for the simulation. Give this as 3. Let us turn on a simulation. So, what I am going to do, pump 1 is going to turn on using push button 1. So, I will press the button, pump 1 is on. If I release the button, still pump 1 is on. Okay. Next, I am going to turn on a pump 2 using the next push button. Yes, it is on. If you turn off, my pump 2 is still on. When I am turning on push button 3, pump 3 is on. If I turn off, it will off. That is it. Correct. Now, when pump 1 have to be off means you have to turn on this PB4. So, it is off. When you turn on this PB5, your pump 2 is also off. Got it? 
so like this only see again if see this push button again if you release your output will not be in on condition because once it is unlatched it means unlatched again if you want to turn on you have to turn on this the first push first uh, sorry this is not this one see since it is a simulation I'm, i can able to force this output so i am going to turn on this that's it got it so very simple so that's it about the example 1 I'll meet you in the next session. Before that, like and subscribe our channel for updates. Thank you.